Hey, I'm Amy Webb and you're watching my exclusive iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Romeo and Most Requested Live for having me and to talk about my new song, House on Fire. First question, Rachel from Tampa. Will you be going on your own US tour soon? Will you please tour in Florida? Are you working on an album? So, fingers crossed I will be doing my own US tour. I don't know when, but we're figuring that out. But I would absolutely love to be coming back to America to do my own tour. That's, that's the biggest dream of mine. I'd love that. Will you please tour in Florida? I would love to. So I will make sure I keep that in mind. And I am working on an album, but I, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I'm basically every day in my life trying to get an album. <laughs> Chloe from Perth, Australia. Where was your first fan encounter and what was it like? I remember I was in Camden and I was going through the market and someone would come up to me and be like, oh, I see you from on TikTok, your song. And honestly, it was so crazy. I didn't stop talking about it all day long. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, it was so lovely and yeah, it was great. <laughs> Sarah from Croydon, PA. What's the hardest thing about releasing a new song? I would say about releasing a new song would probably just be the excitement but nerves because you don't know how people are going to take it. Um, and it's just a little bit scary but really exciting. And also whoever the song's about, if there's always that in play of like, are they going to hear it and what are they going to think? <laughs> Shelley from New York. Can you tell us what your favourite clothing stores are? You have the best fashion. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I love Urban Outfitters, ASOS, um, and I'm actually a massive fan of like really nice little like independent stores. Um, I think you can find the best stuff from there. Scott from Dalton, GA. How do you unwind after a big day? I probably steam my vocals chill out put netflix on and just like do a bit of meditation that's probably the best way i just calm just calm down <laughs> jill from dayton oh are your comfort movies what are your comfort movies um i would say my comfort movies would be the holiday and Read the vowel because it's just so emotional and it just really gets me to focus on the movie. Tyler from Biz Brisbane. <laughs> what are you most excited to see in Australia? I'm most excited to see, I think just the sun and like the fish and chips I had is great there. Um, and some kangaroos, I guess. I don't know if I'll be able to see some, but I'd love to see them. Um, yeah, it's just, I think it'd just be such a cool world. Hank from Hayward, CA. What is your favourite Disney TV show? I would say it would be I used to love Wizards of Wavy Place. Cena Gomez, that was my favourite Disney show. Robin from Key West, Florida. I'm going to play I'm going to play the lottery tomorrow. Can you give me six numbers between one and fifty-three? If I win, there'll be something in it for you. Ooh. Between six and fifty-three. I'd say let's go for forty, thirty-five, thirty-nine, forty-six, forty-seven, or forty-eight. Felt that felt right. <laughs> Natalie from Cleveland. I love the promotional pictures for the new single. Did you come up with the concept for the pictures? I really wanted to make sure the artwork was linked in with the video and I really wanted to play like a firefighter for the music video. So for me, being able to have those two, you know, linked together was like a really big deal. So yeah, it was really fun to get to create that. Beth from Yorkins, Yorkins. Looking back, what fashion trend do you think you should have skipped? When I was at school, everyone was wearing Jilly Hicks. Everyone was wearing Jilly Hicks at school and it was like, everyone would have like the gilet and it was like a thing. Like, we have it in the UK, Jilly Hicks. I'm, but it's um, basically this like, kind of like a, it's very like a California inspired wear, but also British, but we were all wearing like the countryside gilets. Um, 
And yeah, I would have skipped that because we were all wearing this exact same outfit like every every day pretty much all of my friends like when we'd go out to town and stuff so yeah thanks again for watching my ask anything chat my new song is called house on fire thanks to romeo and most requested live for having me on the show tonight to answer your questions lots of love